Nandos has been involved with the arts for over 10 years. Our city attended the launch of the Nando's Accidental Art Campaign, which works with artists from all walks of life. The team also went to view the Lisa Hroble installation at the Kloof Street restaurant. Let's take a look. The Accidental Art Project is a very exciting project. It's a project that's part of our bigger global art initiative, um, but it's our key project for 2015. And what it is, is um, the first time that South Africa, Nando South Africa is taking art into the public realm and in engaging a broader audience. So it's very exciting for us. Um, it consists of two interventions. The first one, which was completed in July, is in Nando's Long Street and is a mural. Um, a, 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 it's a seven by nine meter mural execution done um, by Colossal Media, who are specialist painters. And it is a replica of an existing piece of artwork which we have in um, one of our collections in Nando's Apple Cross, Australia. And we actually have over 209 pieces of his art in our collection, so he's quite a well celebrated artist. Um, the second intervention is the one that we're seeing here, which was completed in August. It is a 20 square meter, half square ceramic tile installation. It was conceived by another one of our artists by the name of Lisa Grobler. We've got over 86 pieces of her art in our collection. And she's also done some beautiful site-specific installations at our new head office in um, Johannesburg, known as Central Kitchen. And she specifically um, did this piece for the World Accidental Art Project. And what it is, is a man that's walking through the Feinbos. And um, you'll see, you can identify him on the other side over there. Um, yeah, and that's the Accidental Art Project. So hopefully next year we'll be um, expanding on the project and doing public art installations in Durban and in Johannesburg. And again, just to take art outside, democratize it and allow access to, to everyone to enjoy the beautiful artworks that our artists are producing. Well, we've been involved in art, South African contemporary art, for about uh, 12 years, together with uh, Janetta and Dick Enthoven, who's been a very passionate art collector over the years. And we've just used art very effectively in our restaurants, particularly in our overseas restaurants, more than in our South African restaurants. Um, and it's just been, it's been a staple for us for the last 10 years, where it's just been a privilege and a pleasure to showcase South Africa's top talented uh, contemporary artists around the world. It really keeps uh, artists fed, <laughs> literally, because of Nando's long-term involvement and solid support through the past decade and a half and their commitment to the future we're able to really build on artist success stories and develop their careers put together amazing studios that uh, execute large-scale work of artists so it's, it's really about partnership and about having fun in it and making sure artists can survive we don't see it as a CSI project we see it as an integral part of our business planning and so we see it as, as part of an investment in our restaurants. We don't see it as a cost. And so that gives it the sustainability. And to have a curator that's as competent as Janetta and as Yellowwoods, um, it, it means that our, that our art value and integrity is maintained as well. So that's what gives it the sustainability as a project. So it's not like we're a sponsor. It's really integrated. It's, it's almost as important as our grills today is buying good art and buying the art that 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 um, that been selected by Yellowwood, so it, it becomes really truly a, a a shared value project, which is um, absolutely critical from our perspective.